for digital photography class in 17 minutes at 12.55, location, McDaniel College, Boot. Google now refresh to time to leave for digital photography class, leave by 12.34 to arrive on time. Weber sent you a hangout message saying, are you coming to watch the game? Reply. Sorry, I can't. I'm traveling tonight. Sorry, I can't. I'm traveling tonight. Send, start over or add more. Add more. Enjoy the game. Sorry, I can't. I'm traveling tonight. Enjoy the game. Send. Send. Hi, Galaxy. Play me what I missed. Opening up. Hello, Greg. It's 12.25. You have two new notifications. 21 minutes ago, Google now notified you. 28 degrees. Scattered clouds. You did early send you a Gmail message 25 minutes ago, saying, Utazash. Hi, who? Pösszepakoltál mindent? Mindjárt én ulan kérted. Igen, kész vagyok. Várlak titeket. Igen, kéz vagyok, várlak titeket. Send, start over or add more. Cancel. Room temperature is 28 degrees. You have three new notifications, just now, at 4.53, Beyond Code notified you, loading feeds. You received delivery report from Clary Collernay, delivered, the last one was sent about one hour ago, at 3.58, by delivery report. 500px sent you a social, gmail message about two hours ago, at 3.26, saying the crap, how did this photographer pose models with wild Hi, animals? Galaxy. Hi Galaxy. Hi Gergo, it's 2.22, the battery level is 85%, you have one new notification, you missed a call from Professor White 19 minutes ago. Room temperature is 71 degrees. Hi Galaxy. What's up? Hello Greg, it's 523. You have one new notification. Drop sync notif- Good evening Greg, it's 1033. No new notifications since you last checked. Room temperature is 69 degrees. So what's new in version 3.0? Probably the biggest addition and certainly the biggest work for me was the new trigger system. Don't worry, the old and simple start summary when connected to menu item is still available under the easy settings, but they became basically shortcuts to creating some built-in triggers. But in the advanced settings, you can go much further with the touchless triggers. Here, for example, is how you can add a touchless trigger to enable immediate readouts when you are at home. So you can go to touchless triggers under the when to start the readout group. Press plus to add a new trigger. And we add Wi-Fi connection and mark the name of our home network. At this point, we could add more conditions to restrict the trigger to certain days, for example, but we don't do that now. Instead, let's move on to add settings. We change the immediate readout setting. I set it to always plus show if screen off. Going back to the trigger list, we can see our new trigger added. Let's change the status of the trigger to both ways. This means that it will restore the previous readout setting when we leave the Wi-Fi network. So it actually is going to be triggered twice, when you enter the Wi-Fi and when you exit it. We can also enable the option summary readout with a 60 second delay. Why would I do that? So after one minute, as I arrive home, the phone is going to let me know of any missed notifications while I was away. You can refine your triggers by tapping on the different parts. You can delete or even make a duplicate by dragging the left side of the list item towards the right. Or you can reorder your triggers by dragging also this left side handle up or down. You have to long press it before you can actually move it. 
You can also export and import your triggers. This is handy for backups. For a lot of automatic setting, you don't need to use Tasker anymore, although the plugin will stay to be available in the app. The next often requested feature was a home screen widget. This is very simple, but I already have ideas for much more complex widgets based on the trigger system. The current widget allows you to control the car mode, aka immediate readout, and whether to show full screen notifications or not. Talking about full screen notifications, with a simple new setting, now you can have just the full screen notifications without the voice readout. Set the audio stream to non slash silent. I made this setting also available in the trigger system. I like to keep my phone on my desk while at a meeting, for example. Now new notifications will show up briefly as they come in, but there is no sound, of course. Options in the immediate readout settings changed slightly. There is now a new mode where notifications are only announced if the screen is off. So it's not going to speak when you use the phone. Also, in earlier versions, if you chose the Always Announce option, full screen notifications appeared even if the screen was on, if the phone was connected to some audio output. The idea behind this was that this is great with a car navigation software, for example, which keeps the screen on, but we also need the full screen notifications in the car. On the other hand, I found the full screen notifications to be really annoying when I held my phone in my hand while having the headphones on. With the touchless trigger system, you have much finer control now. So if you need full screen notifications with the screen on, just create a trigger based on the specific Bluetooth device of your car and set the immediate readout only then to always plus always show. You will find many other improvements and bug fixes. I guess these were the bigger ones. Google now updated to 26 degrees clear. Andy Weber sent you a Gmail message saying don't forget the lens cap. Hey Greg, you asked me to remind you of the lens cap. See you in class. Hey.